everybody, I'm gonna teach you how to make an actual squishy bun, like like this. Um, it's just a basic squishy bun, so and it is squishy. It's like the squishy bun, but you know that is this. So first, you're going to take your phone. Um. I got my phone from an old cotton bag and just like chopped it up because we didn't really need it and stuff so it was really old too. It was like three years So yep, that's why we're using it. That's why I'm using it. So first you're going to take some scissors and we're just gonna cut a bit of a circle. Oh, and um, it should be like a square shape because it's coming from the left. So it should be like that shape, and then you're just gonna cut it into a circle. Basically. So, um, and the reason why I'm doing a lot of squishy tutorials is because I have foam at the moment and I'm going to be going to school because um, I start school and I'm going to go get felt today as well at the same set so I want to do it before I go get felt so it's really hot okay so that's how much I have left this is my drop foam and it's only like 10 pieces. Okay, anyway. So after you're done cutting it, you're going to make it into like like make the top smaller than the bottom. And then just trim it if you have to, because my squishy, like, no joke, my squishy is this tall. Like, my foam is that tall. Oh, shoot. That was the, this was the small, mini squishy one tutorial. Um. And then the red one. I can't pick it up though. So this is the red one. Well, I did not make a tutorial. I did, but it's on my um, laptop. Um, I put it up. I uploaded it on there. it with scissors and then make it into like this shape. This. Um, I recommend um, not making it like circle shape. I don't want like a mat circle. I want like not like this shape of the top, the shape of the whole thing. And this is what Sorry about my hair. Anyway, we're going to snip the top a lot so the top is smaller than the first one. Okay, so it's this. Looks like this. Oh shoot! Okay, so it should look something like this. Now we're just going to take um, a black toilet slick paint. I mean brown toilet slick, paint, or even scribbles, scribbles hot chocolate, whatever. And just squeeze some on the top. And then you can use a smear with gloves on, 
I mean, it was the fingers on, I mean, it's the finger, the fingers on, the fingers, whatever. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. Okay, I'm just going to blot them a little tiny. And it is okay right after your skin on a cool slick it just or whatever you're using it doesn't get on your hand. So don't worry about that. It's like a lot harder. Um, oh my gosh, it's a lot harder. Okay. Okay. There we go. And now we're just gonna do our race. So um You're gonna want to add a lot of. So you're gonna want to add a lot of brown on the top because it's supposed to be a dark brown. Um, I forgot to tell you guys that. It's supposed to be a dark, dark, dark brown, like a poop color. <laughs> okay, but it is supposed to be a poop color. It doesn't show that on the piece of paper because it says that it's supposed to like when you see it light. So this is the face I'm gonna do. I don't do it this way. Like that. Okay. But it's not going to be the same. I don't know what face you would call it, but... Okay, for this part, you don't want to use the tip. For this part, you want to use a toothpick. So just pour some on a little bit on your um, of paper, and then just do the line. Yes, I am wearing Halloween. Well, I know you can see the face. I'm kind of hard. Um, but, um, I'm just going to wear this for about a day. Or 24 hours, um, maybe 10 hours, and then you can do the like trip. Like you can push the face, and then push the whole body, and then it just forms back to the way it's supposed to be. So yeah, that's how you make a pussy bun, and a plate. I mean, not plate, and a foam. So, like, this is a mini one, not, that's to make a mini one to stop the plastic. I'm watching Daniel do anything in the world. Need some fruit ink. Um, uh, so, this is just going to be a random special one. Um, it's not going to be the actual, the way they look. Like that dome shape. Because usually, special ones have a dome shape. That's why I told you to cut the bottom, the top a little bit more than the bottom. That's why I told you that. And I can make lots of them. I'm 
gonna do I might not even be able to um do a kissy face on this, so that's why I'm gonna do it with this. I'll show you what a kissy face looks like with the way that I do it. A lot of people do kissy face. What a cute. Kissy face basically. So this is basically my kissy face and I like it. Yeah, that's all you have to do to make a kissy bun, basically. Um and if you want kissy bun flower, you can use kissy and um Etsy, you can find them on Etsy. Um and you can find them uh you can even go to you can find them at, you, you can get them in a contest. You can basically get it anywhere. Uh, it doesn't really matter where you get it. But yeah, that's what that sucks. So, basically, if you don't know what squishy buns are, they're buns, and they're squishy, and then they have a little cute cut Hawaii face on it. So, yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you can see as the title, um, oh, and I'll also tell you down below where you can get it, like where you can get squishy buns. And yeah, I'm not gonna link it. I'm just gonna like it. Cause I don't know how to link. Yeah, if you know how to link, then just t comment down below, cause I really want to know how to link. Cause um. People been asking me to link things, like not people, but like I've been wanting people to ask me, like to link. I've been wanting to link things. I've been wanting to link things for a while now. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed how to make a squishy bun. Bye, guys.